President Bola Tinubu on Tuesday said the biting sanctions imposed by the economic community of West African states under Niger Janta would not be lifted despite the military leader's promise to negotiate with the regional bloc to resolve the crisis in the Francophone country. Tinubu, who stated this when he received the special envoy of President Ali Ondimba and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Gabon, Herman Imongolt, at the State House in Abuja, instead that insisted that military takeover of government was no longer acceptable in Africa. However, the junta, led by General Abdurrahmani Chiani, has demanded restoration of electricity cut off by the federal government as part of the embargoes slammed on the Akuist following the overthrow of President Mohamed Bazoum on July 26. Chiani, who made the request during their meeting with the Ulamas from Nigeria in Nayami, said they were outraged that the regional bloc did not hear from them before slamming several embargoes on them, including the threat of military intervention to restore democracy. However, President Tinubu, who is the ECOWAS chairman, told his visitors on Tuesday that any interference in democratic governance would not be accepted by the leadership of the regional body. Court, according to a statement released by presidential spokesman Ajiri Ngalele, President Tinubu also praised the solidarity of the economic community of Central African states on the political impasse in the Republic of Niger. And the federal government will on Thursday arraign the suspended Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emefele and his associates for $6.9 billion on Naira procurement fraud at the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Meitama, Abuja. The case is for arraignment and mention. MFLA will be arraigned alongside uh, a CBN employee, Sadatu Yaro, and her company, April 1616 Investment Limited, on 20 charges of procurement fraud, conspiracy, and conferring corrupt advantages on his associates. MFLA, who had been in detention since he was suspended from office on June 9th by President Bola Tinubu, was accused of conferring corrupt advantages on Yaro, a director in April 1616 Investment Limited. The offense is contrary to Section 19 of the Corrupt, uh, Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act of 2000. If convicted, a mefele may be sentenced to five years imprisonment without an option of a fine. And the Federal Capital Territory Command of the Na uh, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency says it intercepted about 3,091 kilograms of suspected illicit drugs with a monetary value of over 56.9 million naira between January till date. Kabir Sakua, PRFCT commandant of the agency, disclosed this in an interview on Wednesday. Sakua said the illicit drugs seized include a suspected cannabis sativa, cocaine, uh, metaphetamine, heroin, tramadol, rofnol, diazepam, and among others. He also stated that 343 drug suspects were arrested within the period under review, adding that they comprised 328 males and 15 females. He also mentioned that within the period under review, 188 drug offenders were prosecuted while 126 had been convicted and sentenced to various jail terms. According to him, out of the uh, 3,091 3, kg of illicit drugs seized uh, between the time, cannabis sativa accounted for the largest seizure. And the Katsina State Police Command says its operatives followed a bandit attack in Korogo village via the Dara GBR local government area of the state. In a statement made by the police public relations officer Abubakar Aliyu, dated August 15 and shared via the Nigeria Police Forces X handle. On August 16, it's revealed that the operatives recovered 60 Russell sheep, one AK 47 rifle with 110 rounds of 7.62 mm live ammunition. It mentioned that the divisional police officer, Jibia, uh, unhesitantly guarded the team of police operatives 
who were able to disengage the bandits after a fierce gun duel. And Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State has restated his commitment towards securing the state for accelerated development. The governor stated this during the inauguration of the governing board for the Western Security Network, codenamed Amotekun, in the state. The inauguration was held at the executive chamber's governor's office, Agodi Ibado. The 12-man 12 12 security committee, headed by a retired as Assistant Inspector General of Police, Sikiru Akonde, was charged to oversee the security activities of the Amotekun Corps in the state. The governor pledged to continually support the Corps with sound logistics, health insurance, training and retraining workshops, which will strengthen the Corps' synergy with other security agencies in the state. Governor Markinde called on the Corps to redouble efforts to surpass the complementary role afforded conventional security agencies in the state to ensure a better secured and serene environment for businesses to thrive. The board is uh, made up of uh, 12 members and their primary responsibility is to make policy and administrative guidelines for the agency and ensure that the agency is functioning optimally and bringing about the desired development in the state. We know that the more support we provide the core, the greater their ability to perform. And with the board firmly in place, they can serve as the link between the government and the area and Matakum Corps. So we are confident that this board we are inaugurating today have the right set of people that will continue to lead Oyo and Matakum on the path of sustainable development. The people should go to sleep. They should be rest assured that with the capacity that we have, and with the management and standard that the previous board had laid, we will not fail them. We will even go beyond the mandate that the state has given us. We have done it in other places. We will not fail to do it in our own state. This homecoming is going to be a fantastic one, and we're going to have a robust security network for your state.